So this one is my last mood board. I will link a video in the description for this one. But I will still explain it. Uh, this is a board and I have pasted an ombre paper on the top of it. And I have used some yarn and created a zigzag pattern. And yeah, I will link this video. Then I took some black chart paper and also on a white paper I wrote sweater plus coffee weather. You can use printouts but I did it myself. So I cut out the sweater and the coffee and the plus thing and I am pasting it on the black chart paper. And with some double tape, I am pasting the chart paper on the mood board. Then I thought that maybe I should add some pine cones to make it look like a fall mood board. So I took some yarn and tied knots at the back of the pine cones. Basically, you are going to tie knots at the back of the mood board but first you have to see where the pine cone looks good. So here I am seeing where the pine cone is looking good. For the macrim, I didn't have the macrim card, but I'm using some yarn, and this is not even my favorite color. Like, I really don't like this color. I wanted white, but I didn't have one. So, I tied the yarn at the two ends of the wooden towel so that I can hang it and work on the macrim. Then, I'm taking a piece of yarn and I'm going to tie a knot on the wooden towel, and I can't explain it so you guys see and yeah learn <laughs> lol basically you will have to put the ends of the yarn through that loop and pull it and yeah it's really easy but i don't know how to explain it we are going to repeat this procedure nine more times basically giving us 10 strands of yarn so now you have 10 strands of yarn now we are going to create double knots so I am double knotting the first one and the second one and then I'm going to do it with the third and the fourth one fifth and the sixth one and seventh and the eighth and ninth and the tenth once you are done double knotting on the first level on the second level you will have to eliminate the last strand of yarn from both the sides and keep on double knotting. On the third level of double knotting, we are eliminating the second last strand of yarn and keep on double knotting. Remember you are eliminating the strands from both sides and this will give you the shape of a V.
keep on double knotting and eliminating until and unless you get the shape of a V or an inverted triangle. Once you get the V, start cutting some pieces of yarn because you have to make it look chunky. To make the macrame chunky, I am adding these pieces of yarn along the line of the V. And trust me, it is easy, it looks easy, but it requires a lot of patience. So watch something and do it because this is going to take some time literally took me 30 minutes once you are done give it a little bit of haircut make it look even and i used the straightener because this is not macrame cord this is yarn and it needs to look neat so emotionally and I'll see you in my next video and there are a lot of noises I hate you people for making noises anyways bye guys that's not the way to say bye so bye guys that's not even a way to say bye